Uh, congratulations to the two of you. You did such a Thank great job so in much. this movie. Are you scary movie fans? I do. I'm a bit of a scaredy cat, but I do like it as a genre. I think it's quite fun to watch. How about you? Yeah, yeah same. I think that it's, it's fun to have a good scare, you know. But I often go to movies with my friends and see a scary movie. Yeah, it's fun. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. Fun. just not by yourself. Just not just by go yourself. go with friends. Go with friends. Yes. And this one, you need a whole team of people around you. Yeah. Because, <laughs> oh my goodness, it is so, so scary. And I, I just have to... Did you guys know about this? You know, had you done a lot of research? Or did you even know about it before you even wrote I mean, this script? I had heard of this story growing up, but I didn't really know that much about it. But then um, we were just saying that when you get online, there's just so much documentation so it's one of the most documented fun. case so it's really helpful for putting our characters together yeah, and to believe definitely. in the story of it I think um, yeah and mm -hmm. did you get to meet with Janet or how I did, did. I got to meet Janet and Margaret both they both uh, came to set to visit and we showed them around and I can remember Janet um, remembering vividly what happened and she would tell me this is where this happened and this table was a little bit to the left. You know, just different things that she remembered perfectly. How did you even prepare yourself to do what you, you really get thrown around a lot in this movie? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I, I yeah. do. I think I think it's fun though. It's a it's a great challenge to play um, a role like Janet because she has such an emotional range and an arc throughout the movie. I mean. She goes from just this regular, like, sweet little girl, and then she's sad and grieving over her father leaving the family. And then these weird things start happening, and she's kind of all bottled up. She doesn't know where to go. So it's really just about um, her emotions and how she's feeling yeah. also. And, and Francis, for you, I mean, I can't even imagine that you didn't want to come and hug these kids the entire I did. time. I did hug them all the time. Yeah. They're very huggable, all of them. <laughs> <laughs> They'd be like, please stop hugging me. <laughs> no, uh, they're, yeah, I mean, it, f they were such great kids to work with. Uh, like, the two boys had never been on a set before, so yeah. they were just, like, so wide-eyed and lovely. And Lauren's lovely, and, of course, Madison. So it was a really great, we're a great family, great team, yeah. I thought. And what is it about James Wan? I mean, he is, I call him the next Hitchcock. I mean, he is yeah, so I, fabulous. Why, is. He's how, so why does he do these things so well? He just loves it. I think he just loves so. making films, and he loves films, and he just... He's just a true creative, I think. He pays he attention. Yeah. yeah, he pays attention to all the details. And I think that detail after detail, it really, it, it adds up and it shows in his final product. And How did he put you at ease, though? You know, that's a scary thing that you had to do in this film. <laughs> yeah, but the energy on set, it was never scary or intimidating. Everyone was always so welcoming and ready to jump in if I needed help or if anyone needed help at a moment's notice and I yeah. think knowing that and really just feeling welcomed really helped. the crew helped. was very supportive too yeah, in terms everyone, of like when we really. had tricky stuff to do. So are you believers like that after working on something like this does it make you a believer? Or About think ghosts about and it? Yeah just like what you went through what they these people went through. Yeah I do I, I mean I think there's definitely ghosts and things like that yeah. Yeah I, I believe in an afterlife and some spirits to to a certain point you know but I definitely believe that something happened to Janet and Margaret because after seeing them and hearing it from Janet it really um, it really opened my eyes and you can definitely tell I can just imagine well you guys did a terrific job in this like kudos to you for Thank what you, you went through because you oh, gave cool. us a great movie Thank, Thank you, you so much.